Hey guys, it's Doug here. What's going on? Happy New Year to you. Hey, my Department 56 2019 catalog just arrived in the mail. So let's take a look at what's going on for Department 56 Halloween in 2019. Now, before we get into the actual Halloween, you know, Snow Village proper here, there are a few side pieces I wanted to talk about. So uh, check out this, the Adams Family here. Here's the spread for it. And of course, this launched last year, you know, and it was really popular with a lot of you folks out there, you know, because everyone loves the Adams Family, right? And new this year, we have Lurch, the butler. We also have the Adams Family Crypt. Granny Frump, and of course, Cousin It. Pretty much all the big players are here now in this line. So, um, you know, with the license stuff, it doesn't always last for very long just because the way the licenses work. So if you're wanting to pick this up, I'd strongly recommend picking up these pieces this year. This is for sure going to be collectible as soon as these are retired. All right, now something that is not Halloween related at all, but I still wanted to talk about, there's some really cool DC character pieces here. So you've got Superman, who uh, looks like it's an animated piece, it says here, who is uh, flying around the Daily Planet. Really, really cool piece here for you comic fans. Now, the set I'm really excited about that you're probably going to see me review on this channel, being a huge Batman fan, check this out. I love this. Um, it's a Batman collection, basically a small one. And this is a classic comic one here. I mean, it looks sort of like the Adam West version, but this is more the classic comic, not the actual Adam West version of things. So you have Wayne Manor here, and it looks like that includes Alfred here. That, well, this piece with Alfred and Bruce Wayne and the gate, of course. And then you have the Batcave, which has the Batmobile and the Batcave piece itself, which I love the Batmobile. I'm a huge Batmobile nerd over the years. I've got a bunch of die casts of it, models. I'm just a huge Batmobile fan, and I love this depiction of it here with the uh, bubble canopies. And then, of course, you also have Batman and Robin. And, uh, you know, the figurines, you got to have them, right? I love this set. Again, you are probably going to see me review this on this channel this year. All right, so the Nightmare Before Christmas is back. Another really popular line from Department 56. And uh, the pieces this year that are new, you have the Jack Steals Christmas, Sally's Date Night, Clown with a Tearaway Face, and the Mayor's Car. Really, really cool. Um, again, I'm not a huge Nightmare Before Christmas person, but um, I know that, you know, I've talked to many of my friends who are collectors that really, really love this line. So jump on it if you haven't already. All right, guys, now we are getting into the actual Snow Village Halloween proper, and there's some neat stuff this year. And uh, let's start off here with the Harvest set. You know, last year, Department 56, they launched with the um, Harvest Gazebo, and I actually did a review of this on my channel. I love this piece. And this year's piece, check this out, guys. It is the Apple Barn, and this is a big box set. You have the actual barn here. You know, like you're going apple picking, um, but, you know, it screams fall. And then uh, it also comes with a couple pieces here, too. Of course, you got the maple leaves. You get a maple tree. And then you get this, um, you know, the farmer here, it looks like, with a little pumpkin. And there's some gourd squashes and, the, you know, the apple cart there. Or apple uh, basket, I'm sorry. And uh, just love how this looks. I will for sure be picking up this piece this year. You'll see it on my channel reviewed. And um, just looks great. All right, guys, moving on down the line. Check out this Day of the Dead spread. This looks fantastic. And uh, I love the theming for these buildings and accessories here. So... There's actually three. There's the Day of the Dead house, which, you know, really cool. Obviously, you can have this for a Day of the Dead display, or I think this would actually work in the Trick or Treat Lane series. Uh, you know, it might look a little different than the other buildings, but I think it would fit in. It's themed very, very well. Uh, but, of course, this is the uh, Day of the Dead house. Then you also have the Eternal Love accessory you can see here, and the Day of the Dead festive dance. And this is cool. It looks like this is motorized, apparently, and these three ladies, they're dancing around in a circle. Really, really dig this theme. All right, and then now we're into the traditional Snow Village Halloween houses. So let's start off here with Trick or Treat Lane. This year's uh, addition to that is the Bat House. Interesting here, it reminds me of the Spider House, actually, with the purple lights and just kind of the general look of it. Um, I've never reviewed the Spider House on this channel, by the way, but I do have one. I will be reviewing it this spring at some point. But, um, yeah, so the Bat House, it's uh, bat-themed, of course. And then you have the accessory here that does not come with it, but that does go with it. It's the uh, You Look Bat-tastic here, which, you know, looks like a little trick-or-treater dressed as a bat with, uh, you know, what I would assume probably is her dad taking a picture of her. They're looking all cute. So uh, let's talk about Witch's Hollow. Of 
course, Esmeralda Shoe Shop and uh, Hattie's Hat Shop. You can see here in the spread, they make their return. But the uh, new piece this year, Satia's Book Emporium with the uh, figurine No Spell Unlearned. And forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't know my witch stuff quite as well as uh, some of my other stuff. But um, yeah, really, really cool, like old... Um, you know, it's an old spell shack, basically like an old library, um, where the, uh, there's black cats on the books. And of course the witch who's, you know, with the accessory here, she's got books stacked on her head and you can even see here, it looks like, um, some smoke coming out of the chimney. So really, really cool. They have done a fantastic job these last couple of years with Witch Hollow. The pieces have all been big with vibrant lighting. And it's tough to see here um, just because, you know, these they're not under proper lighting here. Uh, like I like to show off, you know, on the channel, it, it, when, it, when it's dark, they just look different. Um, but it looks like some bright orange LEDs here. And uh, it looks like it's internally lit. But we'll see. You'll most likely see a review of this one on the channel as well. Now, this isn't new per se. It was a mid-year um, edition, but I never talked about it last year. This is the Graveyard Ghost Dance. I'm hoping I can pick one up this year. Um, it's a spooky graveyard scene here with these ghosts, you know, these um, basically translucent lit ghosts. It looks really neat, at least in the, uh, you know, in the pictures here. I'm excited to try this one out, actually. Uh, another new accessory here. We have the new, uh, the Bat Kite Fright, which... It looks like this kid with a, you know, this flying a bat here. This would actually go good with the bat house, it looks like, even though it doesn't say that it's, you know, for that or that it, it uh, goes with it. It looks themed perfectly for it. Now you can see the spread here for Haunted Rails. Nothing new is coming out here in 2019. This is the, uh, you know, or 2018 was the last car that came with it. And uh, Haunted Rails, the whole thing is being retired. So if you're wanting Haunted Rails, anything in the set, Pick it up now before it all goes away. You know, Haunted Rails is something I keep wanting to collect. It's just that we're trying to do the other lines. It gets too expensive to try and do everything, so it's kind of fallen by the wayside. But I would definitely love to eventually start collecting more of the Haunted Rails cars. All right, next up, guys, we're near the end here. This uh, Dalton's House of Dolls. This is a super creepy looking, you know, uh, basically a, a doll factory. And then you have the Dalton's Menagerie of Friends, which is the you know this he's selling them it looks like here selling the evil dolls very very spooky this looks like how you you know really should do the uh, spooky doll house theme and of course i'm saving the best for last or at least the one i'm most excited about i love this the wicked wax works look at this it is a you know it's a spooky haunted candle shop you know i love candles of course i've got some candles featured on this channel i would do especially Halloween reviews of them. And a shameless plug here, I actually have a dedicated candle review channel now. It's Hauling Wax. I will put that in the description here. I'm very active on that channel. And uh, yes, for 2019, I'm keeping Spooky Villages all Halloween Village theme. That's it. All the candle stuff is on my Hauling Wax channel. So, uh, But anyways, getting back to it here, uh, I obviously, I love the theming here. This is perfect. You know, I love candles. I love Halloween. And uh, it has the lighting wicked waxes here. Accessory, which looks like it's lit. Fantastic. I cannot wait to get these pieces. I'll for sure be featuring the you know, for review here on my channel once they come out. And, uh, you know, if you're new to the channel or maybe you just didn't pay attention much last year, I pretty much review all of the Halloween pieces when they come out, at least at the buildings. Uh, that should be in June. I'm hoping to do that again this year. I might not be able to do all of them like I did last year, but I will do a good portion of them if nothing else. So uh, you can look for the Department 56 buildings to be releasing uh, normally in June. It's your favorite retailer or wherever you know you like to get your Department 56 stuff. And um, yeah, guys, I cannot wait to talk about these uh, whenever they come out, whenever I get them in my hands. So it's going to be fun for the summer. And uh, I do have some Department 56 stuff coming out before then. I've picked up some rare buildings that I have not reviewed yet on the channel. And I'm going to slowly dole those out over the spring. I don't want to do a bunch of them before we really get into the season. But um, I do have some really cool ones. So, all right, guys, that is what's going on for Department 56 with Halloween in 2019. And uh, soon here, you can look forward to a video previewing the Lemax Spooky Town edition. So thank you guys very much. I hope you guys have a very great and spooky 2019.